shocked and appalled is the word, ladies and gentlemen, because guess what? Taylor Swift, T-Swift, Swift Dog is a fat phobe. She hates fat people, apparently, and people are mad, people are upset, and you know that her fans already are damaged enough. So how dare she attack them for what they really are? Sad, fat, depressed women. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Swifties getting cancelled. Taylor Swift fans are fuming <laughs> as the singer uses the word fat in a new music video. I'm reading it, this story only just come out, and so it's quite hilarious to me to see people trying to cancel people because of lyrics they put in songs. We saw it with Lizzo earlier this year where she she put, what did she put, retard or something in a song. But in the same song, she had a story referencing a lady cutting off a man's dick and they kept that in. The fuck? Some fans think Taylor should be allowed to talk about her struggles. Who gives a fuck what they think? Why do we care what people think so much? Leave, let people do their art. Now, some people would argue that what Taylor Swift does is not art. I actually enjoy Swifty songs. If I ever want to have a, you know, a bit of a cry or, you know, I'm standing on the edge of a building and really want to throw myself off, I'll throw some Taylor Swift on and then fucking launch myself off. Taylor Swift fans have been left fuming after their mood stabilizers ran out at their local pharmacy. Sorry, that's the wrong sentence. Taylor Swift fans have been left fuming after the singer used the word fat in her new music video, Antihero. In that music video, she was talking about her own body weight issues. Now, I don't know why people would give a shit about this. She talks about a lot of different things and she's also getting older. So she talks about things that she maybe she dealt with 10 years ago. And if you ever saw her documentary she did on Netflix, it was amazing to see the shit that this young woman woman went through uh, going through fame. Like people following around nonstop and criticizing every single move she makes. And now her own fans are actually criticizing her talking about her own body weight issues. The fuck? One person wrote, this is this is also with these articles, like fucking four people will be upset and then they'll carry on like it's the worst thing in the world. One person wrote on Twitter, fucking Twitter, Taylor Swift's music video where she looks down at the scale and says, fat is a shitty way to describe her body weight struggles. Oh, so that's all it does. It just says fat on the scale. Fat people don't need to have it reiterated yet again that it's everyone's worst nightmare to look like us. But it is, but it is, but it is. Another said, I can't believe Taylor Swift confidently and without hesitation put a whole ass music video out there where she calls herself fat and aligns it with being an anti-hero. God, you people have too much fucking time on your hands. Too much. Oh, here you go. Here's Leah with a beautiful... Um, What's it called? Beautiful pride flag there. Looking good, Leah. Uh, let's see what she's got to say. She's, uh, oh, she, her fat, uh, fat vegan leftist grad student. So you know she's a fucking idiot. There's something so angering about a very thin woman posting this to likely referencing her disordered eating. I don't care if it was just T Taylor Swift's worst nightmares or her intrusive thoughts. It's fat phobic and was at best deeply unnecessary to have in the fucking video. This is all she, all she's talking about is the fact that it says fat on the fucking scale. If you can't handle, if you cannot handle fat being in front of you, you are the biggest, weakest piece of shit that has ever existed. No wonder you can't control your calories, you whinging fucking, no matter what she intended. This positives, positives, positutes, Fatness as a nightmare scenario, as an intrusive thought, without any interrogation of this is fat phobic or fat is normal. It's just a side plot, a scary reference. Can you believe that this is actually someone's thoughts they're putting out there? That like they think people genuinely care this much? She goes on to say, educate yourself on anti-fatness rather than jumping to your gut instincts. <laughs> gut. Uh, of defending fat phobia. It's gross and incorrect. Enjoy your likes from other people who haven't interrogated their fat phobia. Oh my God. And it says also in here, having an eating disorder doesn't excuse you from being fat phobic. Yeah, so if you're really skinny out there because you have anorexia nervosa, you are actually a piece of shit fat phobe. Hmm, so yeah. This is from Jay or Fade Hatch. There's no explanation for portraying fatness as bad and as something to fear, which doesn't justify the hatred of fat people. No one in this entire world is saying that fat people are bad or they hate them. What this is saying and what Swifty is saying is she was scared about getting on the scale and it coming back and showing that she was overweight or fat, right? Like, I don't understand how you can't understand the nuances in there.
She's talking about her own experience about worrying about looking too fat. And I understand, yes, it is ridiculous in the in, in the industries that she's in and in the modeling industry and uh, any industry where people look at you all the time. It's impossible to be completely gorgeous and wonderful and, and look how people expect you to look all the time. There's photos at the moment coming out of Zac Efron looking so super jacked. Well, that man's on steroids. And you can only ever get to that position with steroids. And that's for men. Now, for women, it's different, right? People want you to look a certain way. And I argue maybe it's actually the Instagram models that get out there and do it every single day that look absolutely perfect every single day that actually push this unachievable goal or, or body weight. They're the ones pushing it. I know a lot of people blame men for it, but and sure, maybe back in the day that was the case. But now, uh, ladies, you're taking the photos on your phone. You're the one pushing this message, not dudes. My beautiful wife is next to me in this hotel in Perth. She just said, Rosie, our beautiful greyhound looks perfect every day. And yes, she is spot bloody off. So I'm sitting here now thinking to myself, can't people express their own reality like can't people talk about the actual things they've experienced swifty i think here it says she was she had issues back in uh, 2020 uh when she was doing a, a, a tour and she was having issues with food and all these type of stuff she had to see a psychologist so she's talking about her own experience with jumping on the scale and constantly seeing like fat this whole attack on lyrics is the same thing where people went after the Jeffrey Dahmer thing. Kesha's mother had to apologise for writing insensitive Jeffrey Dahmer lyrics following the backlash. And it was the same with Katy Perry. And like the whole removal of people and the removal of things where they find things out or, they, or, the, or the public say that's not okay anymore. Like Madame Tussauds also removed Kanye West recently. Just because they people say dumb shit or, or public opinion changes doesn't mean we have to cancel everything with lyrics or with ideas or, or, pe or actual people. It's, 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 it's a sad fucking world. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed me getting this off my chest. And I thought I would do this, even though I am not at home. I'm in a hotel room. Uh, I am sitting here looking like the Lincoln statue, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, mid-extincts. More videos on Monday. To Lou, au revoir. Bye-bye.